Voyager team of engineers and scientists spent seven years designing and planning for the exploration of Jupiter and Saturn. The spacecraft are endowed with intricate logic systems and when necessary, can make their own decisions without contact from Earth. They carry instruments for 11 science investigations of the outer planets and their moons. The radio link with Earth is channeled through a large dish-shaped antenna that dominates the spacecraft. Two television cameras are the eyes of the spacecraft. They can be aimed with great precision. These instruments detect the unseen forces that swirl around these distant worlds. September 18th, 1977, Voyager is seven million miles from Earth. Its cameras turn back to record the blue Earth and crescent moon together in a haunting photograph of our home in the solar system. Fourteen months later, Voyager 1's cameras transmit the first photographs of Jupiter. February 5th, 1979. From a distance of more than 17 million miles, Jupiter and three of its moons are caught in a single frame. At 12 million miles, Jupiter's clouds of gases and ice particles are seen to swirl and twist in strange new patterns invisible from Earth. From a series of more than 4,000 photographs, a time-lapse movie is made that covers 10 Jovian days. The atmosphere is more complex than had been thought. The trajectories of Voyagers 1 and 2 enable the spacecraft to obtain photographs which provide different aspects of each of the four Galilean moons. Two scientific discoveries occur during the first flyby of Jupiter. On March 4, 1979, Voyager 1's cameras photograph a faint ring of particles surrounding Jupiter. Several months later, Voyager 2 photographs the dark side of Jupiter. Backlighting by the sun produces a spectacular view of the ring. It is ribbon-like, 3,600 miles wide. Jupiter now joins Saturn and Uranus to become the third planet known to possess a ring system. A second discovery solves the mysteries of Io's bizarre surface. On March 8, 1979, Voyager 1 takes a remarkable photograph of Io. The Voyager scientists had been saturated with surprises at Jupiter, and they approached Saturn with cautious, open minds. generated film, Voyager is shown as it arrives at Saturn after a journey from Earth of four years and a billion miles. The planet's rings are targeted for special study. They present the... August 1981, Voyager 2 recedes from Saturn on its journey to Uranus and beyond. The recent discovery of nine rings encircling Uranus and its five known moons hold the promise of fresh discoveries. And in four more years, Voyager 2 will reach that planet. Three years later, it will reach the eighth planet, Neptune, and its great moon, Triton. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 will continue its flight, searching for the unknown edge of the influence of the sun, where interstellar space begins and our sun is just another star in the sky. In space science, two unmanned Voyager spacecraft like this are now on their way toward the planets Jupiter and Saturn. Their journey could last over a decade, 
with investigations of more than a dozen major planetary bodies, including Uranus. The program is designed to yield valuable new information about the origins of the solar system and formation of the Earth. One of the ways it will do this is with pictures. Dr. Bradford A. Smith is Associate Professor of Planetary Sciences at the University of Arizona and team leader of the imaging experiment on Voyager. We begin our observations of both Jupiter and Saturn approximately 100 days before we arrive at the planets themselves. During that period of time, we're constantly looking at the planet. Each planet, both Jupiter and Saturn, rotates in approximately 10 hours. So every 10 hours, as we're approaching these planets, over that 100-day period, we will see the whole surface of the planet rotating beneath us. As we get closer and closer, the resolution gets higher. We see smaller and smaller features. And as we get very close, we, we finally get so close that we can't see don't have enough pictures to cover the entire surface of the planet, but we will select out particular features of great interest observed during that so-called observatory phase, and these features will be targeted for close examination as we fly by. The Voyagers will eventually leave the solar system, each carrying a cosmic greeting card in the form of a copper record. Called the Sounds of Earth, they were assembled by a group of prominent scientists and educators. The record begins with 115 photographs and diagrams in analog form that describe mathematics, chemistry, geology, and biology of Earth and our location. The pictures are followed by spoken greetings in 60 languages. Shalom. Hola y saludos a todos. Salamat malam hadirin skalian. Hello from the children of planet Earth. The sounds of weather, surf, birds and other animals, and almost 90 minutes of music from around the world. Finally, here in part, is the text of a printed message from the President of the United States on the chance that someone is out there. This is a present from a small distant world, a token of our sounds, our science, our images, our music, our thoughts, and our feelings. We are attempting to survive our time so we may live into yours. We hope someday, having solved the problems we face, to join a community of galactic civilizations. This record represents our hope and our determination and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. This has our launch control. Five, four, One, we have ignition, and we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of...